Next, let us take a short quiz and test our understanding of single entry so far. Find the cost of goods sold if goods are sold for 20,000 at 25% profit on cost. 25% profit on cost. I'll give you a minute. <clears throat> Twenty five percent on cost. Cost is hundred. Profit is twenty five. Therefore, selling price is hundred and twenty five. So here, the selling price is given to us. So, profit by selling price. That's twenty five by one hundred and twenty five of twenty thousand will give us the element of profit. That is one fifth <coughs> or four thousand. This is the profit. Therefore. What is the cost? 20,000 minus 4,000, 16,000 must be the cost of the goods sold. Find the cost of the goods sold. If goods are sold for 20,000 at 25% profit on cost. So whenever they say it's on cost, let that be 100. If they say it's 20% profit on sales, let sales be 100. So here cost is 100, profit is 25, therefore selling price is 125. Sales is given to us, therefore 25 by 125 into 20,000 is the profit. If 4,000 is the profit, the cost of the goods should be 16,000. Correct answer should be A, 16,000. Next, <clears throat> find the value of opening stock from the following data. Purchases 1,50,000, closing stock 30,000, sales 2,20,000, Gross profit 40,000. What is the opening stock? If it's easier for you to prepare a trading account format, do that quickly and then arrive at the figures. Basically, it will be sales to like 20,000, <clears> add closing stock. 30,000 sales plus closing stock 2,50,000 less purchases of 1,50,000 <clears> and gross profit of 40,000. So 2,50 less 1,90 answer should be 60,000. <clears> the correct answer should be C, 60,000. So sales plus closing stock 2,20 plus 30, 2,50,000. And on the other side, we have purchases and gross profit 190. Therefore, balancing figure should be the opening stock of 60,000. Correct answer C, 60,000. Estimate the capital as at the beginning of the year, provided capital at the end of the year is 240, drawings were 20,000 and profit for the year 25,000. <coughs> what is opening capital? Opening capital plus profit minus drawings is equal to closing capital. Now you have to find out opening capital. So what will opening capital be? Opening capital will be equal to closing capital of 240,000 <coughs> plus drawings of 20,000. Minus profit of 25,000. That is 2,35,000. Opening capital correct answer should be A, 2,35,000. From the following details, calculate the net profit for the year. Opening stock is 1,50,000. Purchases 2,50,000. Manufacturing expenses 80,000, selling expenses 20,000, administration expenses 10,000, financial charges 5,000, sales 5,55, which includes damaged goods sold for 5,000 against the cost price of rupees 12,000. Gross profit margin on normal sales is 20% on the sales. What is your correct answer? A. 65,000, B. 68,000, C. 70,000, and D. 77,000. A minute to think it out.
we need to compute net profit. <clears throat> what is our gross profit? Opening stock is 1,50,000. Purchases are 2,50,000. Manufacturing expenses are 80,000. So this is purchase, this is manufacturing expenses. Administration financial sales is, administration financial will go to profit and loss. <clears throat> so what is uh, sales? Sales is 55000 5 sorry, 5 This includes damaged goods sold for 5000 So your normal sales is actually normal sales. 5 lakh 50,000, right? Sales which includes damaged goods sold for 5,000 against the cost price of 12,000. Gross profit margin on normal sales is 20%. So, what is the normal sales? Therefore, gross profit is 20% of this. 20% of 5 lakh 50,000 being equal to 1 lakh 10,000. This is gross profit. But in addition to this gross profit, goods were sold for 5,000, the cost price was 12,000. Therefore, there is a loss of, there is a loss of 7,000. Your gross profit should be 1,10 minus 7,000. <clears> so, how much is that? 1,3,000. Your gross profit is 1,3,000. So, gross profit of 1,3,000. You have selling expenses of 20, administration expenses of 10,000, financial charges of 15,000. That adds up to 20, 30, 35,000. So can we say 1,3,000 gross profit minus 35,000, <clears throat> 68,000 should be our, should be the net profit, 68,000. Now. Mind you, here though I have started with opening stock, purchases, manufacturing expenses, we did not need this information at all. So when we need, what, what is the question, calculate the net profit and they have given us details of the gross profit margin on normal sales. This is not required. This is not required. We can straight away do normal sales of 5 lakh. Just start with the sales arrive at the gross profit and reduce 35,000 other expenses and get the net profit. <clears throat> Correct answer, 68,000. Option B. The next one says, calculate sales from the following. Opening stock given 50,000, closing stock 40,000, purchases less returns 1,90,000. Profit margin is 16.66% on sales. A 2 lakh 20, B 2 lakh 40, C 1 lakh 50, and D 1 lakh 90,000. So what is your cost of goods sold here? Profit margin is 16.66% on sales. We need to calculate the sales. So what do we do? We need to know the cost of goods sold. Then we can apply the profit margin. So if you take selling price as 100, profit would be 166.67. So the cost price, <coughs> sorry, Profit is 16.67. Therefore, therefore, your cost is actually 100 minus 16.67 or that is 83.33. <clears throat> this is your cost, right? Because your profit margin is 16.67% on sales. If sales is 100, profit is 16.6, cost is 83.33. Now, what is your cost of goods sold here? 50,000 is the opening stock. Purchase is 190. So 50,000 plus purchase is 190,000 minus closing stock of 40,000. That's equal to <clears throat> 2 lakh. 
is what cost of goods sold. So either we take sales from here or we take so what is the profit if you ask what is the profit it's 16.67 on cost 83.33 into 2 lakh. This would be the profit profit. If you add it to the cost we should arrive at the thing this is equal to 40,000. Therefore sales is equal to 2 lakh plus 40,000 equal to 2 lakh 40,000. So selling price is 100. Why selling price? Profit margin is 16.6766% on sales. So if selling price is 100, profit is 16.67, which means the cost is 83.33. What is our cost of goods sold? Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock equal to 2 lakh. Therefore, what is the profit on cost? Profit is 16.67, cost when cost is 83.33. Therefore, when cost is 2 lakh, your profit is 40,000. Therefore, sales should be 2 lakh cost plus 40,000 equal to 2 lakh 40,000. <clears> 2 lakh 40,000 is the correct answer. Next one. Opening stock of 15,000, closing stock 6,000, total purchase during the year 30,000. Given that opening stock inadvertently includes posted stamps of 1,500, find the cost of goods sold. A 40,000, B 39,000, C 37,500 and D 36,000. So cost of goods sold is equal to what? Is equal to opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. What is your opening stock? 15,000 minus 1,500, that's 13,500 plus what is your purchases? 30,000. Less closing stock of 6,000. Therefore, what do we get? 13,500 minus 6,000, 7,500, 37,500 should be the cost of goods sold. 37,500. 37,500. Correct option should be C, 37,500. To convert accounts prepared on cash system of accounting into mercantile system of accounting, which of these adjustments is not necessary? A. Reconciliation of cash with bank. B. Adjustment of prepaid expenses and income received in advance. C. Adjustment of outstanding expenses and income statement. D. Distinction between revenue and capital expenditure or income. Convert accounts prepared on cash systems. That means you record when cash is received. You don't follow the accrual system. But if you have to convert it into the mercantile system of accounting, into the accrual system of accounting, then what is necessary? We must make adjustments for prepaid expenses and income. We must make adjustments for outstanding expenses. <clears throat> adjustment of adjustment of prepaid expenses, income received in advance. This is adjustment of outstanding expenses and <clears throat> income. This should be income received in advance. Distinction between revenue and capital, yes, that is also important. But reconciliation of cash with bank need not, is not necessary in order to convert from cash system of accounting to mercantile system of accounting. So correct answer, option A. Next, to obtain the amount of credit sales made during an accounting period, which account is generally used in single entry and in complete records? To obtain the amount of credit sales made during an accounting period. The payable account, total revenue account, debtors account and stock account. To obtain the amount of credit sales during an accounting period. Which account do we need? Payable may give us the purchase account. 
total revenue account does not give us anything. Maybe if you make a profit and loss, you'll get the profit or loss. Stock account is not generally prepared. Open, opening stock is simply transferred to profit and loss. But debtor's account could give you the balance of sales. Balancing figure could be sales. If you know opening debtors, if you know closing debtors, if you know collection from debtors. Therefore, correct answer should be C, debtors account.